Okay, let's understand like terms. And we're going to try to do this in 10 minutes. Video might go a little bit more, might go a little bit less, but the idea is to try to teach you this in 10 minutes or so. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cover three things in this video. So the first is we're going to talk about what is a term in algebra. So we're discussing like terms, but we really need to understand what a term is. And then we'll talk about what makes terms like. Okay. Then lastly, we'll answer the question, what do we do with like terms? Okay. So these are the three things. If you stick around, you're going to become a master at like terms. Now, if you're new to my uh, channel and you're studying, if you're studying like terms, obviously you're taking some sort of algebra class. Um, I literally have hundreds and hundreds of uh, videos that can help you out. So if I want to check that out, also I'll leave a link in the description of this video uh, to my uh, learning site um, where I have uh, many, many different math courses. So if you, fi you find that you like my teaching style, you want to learn more from me, um, there's plenty of ways to do that. But with that being said, let's get into this. All right, so what is a term in algebra? All right, so we want to answer the question, what is like term? So first of all, we need to figure out what's a term. So a term in algebra, basically, let me just, I'm going to write an example of a few of these terms or a term, and then we'll kind of discuss what they are. All right, I'm just kind of making some things up here. All right, so each one of these guys right here is considered a term in algebra. So when you see things in algebra and what makes algebra algebra versus, let's say, arithmetic or basic elementary math is we have variables, right? So we have a number and a variable, number, number and a, uh, some sort of variable along with it, and a number and more variables. So each one of these components here is considered a term in algebra. Now, of course, we're going to want to answer, uh, and I'll answer this here in a second, what makes these guys like? Or so what does that even mean? But we'll get that, we'll get into that in a second. So each one of these is a term. Now, a term in algebra will have some sort of a, a variable. Okay, it can have more than a var one variable. So here I have a variable x, here I have two variables, z squared and g. Okay, so I have some a variable or variables, and they're together being multiplied. In other words, we're not adding or subtracting, they're written right next to one another. So z squared g means that this is z squared times g, okay? So in other words, let me just kind of uh, write something out like this. Negative uh, 10 z squared plus g, this is its own term, this is another term. So this right here is part of this one term, okay? so to get back what a term uh, what a term is in algebra we have a variable okay and it doesn't it could be um, an X a Y it could be anything and it can have powers to it and the whole nine yards and then next you have a number okay in front of that variable right some sort of number some sort of value it could be a positive number negative number fraction decimal positive negative decimals etc okay so if you have these these are terms in algebra. So the number part, okay, the number that's written in front of the term, we refer to as a coefficient. Coefficient. So I'm not going to spell that out because I'll probably misspell it, but you get the idea. So we have the coefficient of this term. So let me kind of like erase all this because it's getting a little cluttered. And now let's get into something a little bit clearer, okay? So let's say I have 3y squared. So the term, okay, of this coefficient is 3, all right? And then this part is just considered the variable part or the power, okay? All together, this is a term. Okay, so that's what a term is in algebra. Now, what makes terms like? All right, so now let's get into this... Um, kind of the gist of the, um, of the video. So let's write two terms, okay? Let's write 3y squared negative 6y cubed and 4y squared. Let me write that a little better. 
Okay, so what makes terms like, okay, in algebra is when we, so first of all, let me just kind of state it this way. The, all these guys here are terms, right? So what makes terms like is these terms, we look at the variable part. Okay, so here this has a y squared. This guy over here has a y squared. The variable part of these terms are exactly, exactly the same. Okay, if the variable part of the ter of, of terms are exactly the same, these guys here would be considered like terms. Okay, that's it. So a like term is ter uh, terms, or ter you know, more than one term. You can have several terms where the variable part is exactly the same, not close. Okay, it can't be like, well, this looks pretty, pretty close. Here I have a y cubed, these are y squared, so it's only off by a little bit. No, these two terms here are not like, okay? They are not like, why? Because the uh, variable parts are not exactly the same, okay? And that's basically it. That's what like terms are. So let's kind of look at some examples here. Right. This stuff doesn't have to be too difficult. Um, you know, when you're learning, if someone, you know, my passion is, you know, I'm a math teacher, teach from middle school all the way to college. My passion over the years has been really, to, how do I explain things like in a really easy and clear way to understand? Okay, because it doesn't have to be hard, right? So if you're struggling in math, you know, um, and not, this is no uh, comment on your teacher, but if you're struggling, and you got a good teacher, well then you're then you have a focus problem. But maybe you're focusing and you don't really kind of understand the way that the teacher is teaching. That can happen as well. Okay, but find something or someone that teaches you in a way you like that you like and understand. All right, let's get back to some examples of like terms. So let's say I have four x um, four x y squared three uh, x y 4x squared y, and let's see, I have uh, 3xy squared. So I have four different terms here, term, 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 and a term. So let me ask you, are there any like terms here? Okay, so what we're looking at, right, is the variable part, okay? So here I have an xy squared. I have to look at both of these guys together, xy squared. So do I see anything exactly with an xy squared out of these terms? Right here, xy squared. See, all these have xy, so I'm kind of trying to trick you a little bit, right? Um, but but it, it has to be x to the first power, y to the second power, exactly, exactly the same. So these two guys here would be like terms. So let's look at 3xy. Can we do anything with 4x squared y? No. Okay, these are not like terms because the variable parts, again, are not um, exactly the same. Remember, don't get, you, you don't look at the coefficients of uh, terms. You were looking at the variable components to them. All right, so that's what makes terms like. All right, so let's get to this question, to our final question here. What do we do with these like terms? Okay, so. <laughs> just because we know, hey, these are like terms, what do we do with them? Well, what we do with them is we can add or subtract and we can combine them. So let's say I have 3x and 7x. All right, are these like? Yes, the variable components are exactly the same. So I'm allowed to add them or subtract them. All right, and the way I do that is simply add the coefficients, the numbers in front of the exponent. So I have a 3, 3x here plus 7x, so all together we have 10x. So this is 3 times x. You can kind of think of this as 3x's, x, 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 and 7x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So how many x's do we have all together? We have 10x's. And that's basically it. So what do we do with like terms? We add and subtract. Okay, let's just kind of do a quick review here. What makes terms like? the variable parts have to be exactly the same, okay? And then what is a term in algebra? It's basically going to be a number, some sort of number, fraction, decimal, 
and next to it's going to be some sort of variable. This is a term. It's the building blocks of, uh, of algebra, kind of the DNA, the molecules of algebra. So you really, you know, as you um, you know study algebra, and if you're studying like terms right now, this is generally taught well in the beginning of, of uh, the course because it's the basic building blocks of algebra. All right, so let's wrap this video up. So don't know how I did with the time. Hopefully it's more or less around 10 minutes. But the whole idea is for you to learn, right? So, um, you know, if you like this video and you want to continue to learn with me, I literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel uh, that I make, and I'm always producing stuff. So hopefully you'll uh, consider subscribing. I'll also leave a link uh, to my math uh, program in the description of this video if you want to check out my full comprehensive uh, math courses that you can use to aid you in your class or whatnot. Okay. So if you like my teaching style, you can check that out if you want. Hey, if you like this video, definitely would appreciate a thumbs up. And last but not least, leave me some feedback. Let me know how you know your math class is going. If you're doing well, if you like your teacher, you know uh, additional questions you might have. I get a lot of comments on my videos, so I try to read as many as I can. But it lets me know how I'm doing, and also gives me um, ideas for future videos. But with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time, and have a great day.